Type 61, very nice. So now we got something in the 60s, so Type 61 is now available. Proceed. It's nice and warm. Yeah, unlike your corpse would be if you jumped off that cliff. It's such a little thing, but I've never really noticed just how much of a difference a little warmth can make. I wanted to jump, but now... But now I don't want to jump because I have tea. Can I please stay here? Tea's, tea's pretty I good. I like it. I like tea. This. This is just what I need. Right now. I like tea. Tea keeps me from killing myself. <laughs> Alright, so we've got one episode left but i think that unlocks some stuff or maybe there's stuff after that that you that you have to like play multiple times to get to oh we got an a look at that to the other side 13 oh no sorry 13th drop and then final drop but but this one seems to be Short. Rui, Miyu, Miku, Hisoka, and Yuri have all returned from Mount Akami. The Dark Sun has followed them. The mountain will not let them go. Ren must protect them alone. Do I have any cool costumes? No, I have no cool costumes for Ren. I just have the one. And it's lame. Eh. I will not get any more stuff. The Dark Sun. Ryumi, I, uh, Ren fears. Oh, they all fall into an unusually deep slumber. Ren fears that, wh that while this persists, the defenseless group may be vulnerable to attack. Time to get back to those surveillance cameras. Ren knows he must find out what's going on with that Hakami before something comes to pay a visit. Ah, yes. What is it? It's something. Sunrise isn't for another few hours. Black hole sun, won't you come? Won't you come? So many black hair girls that want to get that, that want that, that, that the ghosts want to steal so they can make them kill themselves. I have to stop my harem from getting murdered. Let's go. Oh no. That light. It might be a sign of something strange happening on Mount Akami. Something might be on its way here again. 
I should keep an eye on the surveillance camera feeds. Get out of here. Oh, that's lame. Get away. Back off, warm bodies wanna be. Wandering woman. That's the room Miu and her mother are sleeping in. I've gotta rescue them. Hurry. Mince as quickly as you can. for your life. Ah, oh, come on. Don't do that to me. There we are. Come on. Stupid. Where is it? Come on. There she is. Hello. Ryu is all right. Spirits aren't here yet. I should go check on Miu and her mother. Don't worry, I'm just here to take pictures of you while you sleep. They seem to be alright, except for the nightmares. The ghost I saw walk in is nowhere to be seen. No, 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 no. I wanna pick up the book. Book. Whoa, dodge it.
I want to get a zoom lens so that I can so that I can widen this thing up. Prime lens is just lame for this purpose. Why you gotta be so freaking close? An old book about the shadow war. Where ghost marriages take place, tales of children of the dead are often found. They are known as Shadowborn, or children of the underworld, and are feared by the people. The Shadowborn, once a man beloved by a girl living in a small village, went missing in the mountains. Every day, the girl went to the mountain shrine to pray for his return, but years went by and the man never came back. After ten years, the girl lost her mind. She went on living and talking to a man who wasn't there. One day, the villagers noticed that she was with child. She said that the man who had gone missing was the father. Ignoring the talk in the village about the identity of the father, she gave birth alone. The baby girl that was born had the missing man's eyes. As for the man, he was an outsider who had stumbled upon the village. It later transpired he was killed by the villagers ten years prior. When the child learned how to speak, she asked the villagers, Why did you kill my father? That's a good little ghost story. It's like, oh, it's spooky. Alrighty. Checking the security cameras. I'm checking them. Rui's breathing is is breathing quietly in deep slumber. What's that book? It's about folk tales surrounding Mount Kami. I should probably take a look at it as well. Water in Mount Hakami. Oh, was Ryo reading this before she went to sleep? Water has been defiled on Mount Hakami for centuries. The water from the Lake of the Departed envelops the mountain in mist. To the locals, the water is the source of the soil and where the soil returns in death. Okay. This belief will likely spread due to the water being tied to everything within the wet and humid climate. The people fear nature, revere it, and live among it. They may show the true character of the lo this may show the true character of the locals. She's having nightmares, but she seems okay otherwise. Surveillance. Mount Hakami. Here on the mountain, the water itself was revered and worshipped. Souls come from the water. And it's where they return to in death. All right, gotta go check on Yuri. Min's faster. What if the ghosts lock the door? then everything would be ruined, right? You wouldn't be able to get in and they'd be able to eat the person and it'd be fine. This looks like Yuri's diary. Maybe there are clues, uh, There, maybe there are some clues in it. The words, I won't let you, brought me back to my senses. They overwhelmed me. The words were so powerful, so absolute, they really got to me. But what really got me to stick around was something small. Hisoka's favorite words. 
Sometimes a cup of coffee can make all the difference. It was such a little thing, but I had never noticed. And then she has a book. Yuri's bathed in a red glow, but is in a deep sleep. Everything seems fine in her room. Something's fallen under the bed. A book Yuri was reading? It might be worth checking out. Oh no, a ghost! Under the bed, ghost. Oh no, he's an under the bed ghost. And he's got me, oh god! And he crawls super fast. Oh, thank God. Get back. I totally expected a ghost under the bed. There's a book underneath the bed. The beliefs of Mount Hakami are related to beliefs found all over the country. The water is life, and in death, the soul must return there. People came to the mountain to return their souls to the mother that gave, that gave it to them. To die a proper death. The belief that dying in the mountain's water was somehow proper. This shows a strong yearning for nature itself, with death as just another part thereof. I'm worried about what's going on in the other rooms. I, could check, I should check the camera feeds. Ooh, do you hear the singing? Type zero film. I think that was six of them, which is nuts. Surveillance. Inhabitants of Mount Akami have long held peculiar beliefs about life and death. People will go there for special rituals and offer their lives to the dark waters of the mountain lake. Mount Akami has always been known for the many suicides that take place there. Souls are born of water. The water is what they're fine too. To seek death in the waters of the mountain was to be reborn. A means to a proper death. I think we're coming to the end of this chapter. I think it was just literally exposition. There's a ghost there. We might have something to deal with in Ahsoka's room. But other than that. You know what the, the ghosts in this remind me of? They remind me of the zombies in Gun Survivor. Or no, Umbrella Chronicles. The light gun shooter for Resident Evil. That's what it reminds me of.
So there's stuff outside of... There's stuff outside of Ahsoka's room. But Ahsoka herself seems fine. Oh, that's what they were waiting for. Come on. Kablams. Get out of here for you, he. You're dead. Oh, that was interesting. She's trying to like cloud my vision. Come on. Come on. Yeah, back off. Bye, Fiyuhi. Oh yeah, I have 193. I should definitely do something with that. I think I'm going to upgrade his loader. Because the damage is fine. I just need more... Uh, I need better reload speed. So let's go check on... Um, Hisoka now. Oh, Hisoka, I'm here to look in on you while you are sleeping. It's not creepy. Hisoka, she looks like she's having a nightmare, but otherwise seems fine. She spent days trapped on Mount Hakami. I'd like to ask her about what she saw there. But I've got more urgent things on my hands right now. I should keep watching the camera feeds. This notebook looks like it's Ahsoka's. Maybe there's some kind of clue in it. I couldn't make it. 
Just as I thought I had her, she fell. Akari, I couldn't save her. Forgive me, those words still echo in my mind. Maybe in chasing after Akari, I pushed her too far. I'm so relieved. Thank you. The forced niceties made it so much harder. After the call, I cried so much I thought I might die. She slipped through my fingers. I feel like Yuri will too. Alrighty. Back to the cameras. Hear the cat? You may not be able to hear it, but there was like a cat screeching sound. So she was in this hallway. <sighs> At least they only do it once per item. Like, if they did it multiple times, it'd be super annoying. Huh. Come on. Oh, that was fun. You will not. Get back. Ugh. This is stupid. I was hit and dodge. That was stupid. Wow. I have like no film. Ah. 
Come on, show back up. Get out of here. 